I'm Catherine Stelges, owner of the Think Live Be team at Keller Williams Realty of the Parks in downtown Orlando. I'm here with your Central Florida real estate market update. So every month, the Orlando Regional Realtor Association puts out stats from the previous month, and we look at those and try to interpret what's going on in the market, what to expect. So I wanted to go over January. We're already setting records in January. We ended January 2022 with the lowest number of homes available for sale that I've ever seen. Um, the, the lowest on a 20 year recorded history with only 2,379 homes left available for sale at the end of the month. That's the lowest ever recorded. So what that means is that we still have an inventory problem, right? We still have just too many home buyers that are looking to buy, not enough available houses for sale, and that is leading to an increase in prices as well. The prices are up over 21% since this time last year. So we ended January with 21.82% appreciation. Um, these double digit appreciation rates are not normal. Um, you know, normally a market appreciates three to five percent so we're definitely in historic like we'll probably look back on this in um, 10 20 years and say this was the most his the historical strongest sellers market of all time and probably the most we'll ever see where you really can get your home sold for top dollar so if you've been thinking about selling, definitely there's still time to do it this year while we're experiencing the, these prices and this market. One thing to consider is the interest rates are rising slightly, just slightly though. We ended January with 3.38 as an average interest rate for Orlando. That's still historically extremely low. And if you take that paired with the average sales price, it's still in a lot of areas more affordable to buy a home into that payment than it is to rent. So our demand will likely continue. We also have a lot of people moving from out of state to our area. So it is likely that this will continue here in Central Florida for a while. Um, if you wanna take advantage of the high selling prices and the demand, now's the time to do that. As a buyer, that all sounds a little scary. Like, am I buying at the top of the market? Well, there's no really, really way to know it's the top of the market until we're at the bottom or going down. What we can say though, is that with so many people moving to this area, again, it seems like this will be here for a while. And so it's more about maybe maximizing the interest rate that you can get today versus waiting another year when prices could actually be higher and interest rates could be higher. So if you have any real estate needs in Central Florida, give us a call. We'll walk you through what it takes to be a competitive buyer in today's market and what strategies you can use to actually get your offer accepted. If you're a seller, um, you know, sticking a sign in the yard is not all it takes. You know, to get the most money possible and really maximize this market, there are steps you need to take and strategies you need to take as well. So give us a call to go through your unique situation and keep your eyes open. I just attended Keller Williams annual conference called Family Reunion, and I'm gonna be breaking down all of the news and information we discussed in that conference about what we think is happening in the market and where we think things are going over the next few years and just kind of some forecasting from those big things and um, economists that work for Keller Williams International. So keep your eyes open for my video recap this week, a little bonus episode of our market updates. Um, our number is 407-982-7240. Reach out and we would be happy to help you with your Central Florida real estate needs. Thanks.